Hey guys, it's Mariana, and today I'm going to be reviewing the latest film adaptation of Macbeth. I was finally able to go see it, I was really looking forward to this film, and I wanted to talk about it because I think for certain audiences, this is definitely a must-see and a very enjoyable film to watch. This version of Macbeth is directed by Justin Kurtzel with cinematography by Adam Arkepaw. And first of all, I bring out the cinematography because it is a discussion on its own because this movie is gorgeous. But second, these are the same people who are working on the Assassin's Creed movie that's coming out next year, also starring Michael Fassbender and Marion Cotillard. So I am very, very excited to to see what they do with that one but back to Macbeth this is based on a famous Shakespeare tragedy I'm sure you know and this has been adapted to film time and time again but this is kind of a new take on it I would say I don't think there is an adaptation quite like this one out there right now if you have read the play and I'm going to assume that not everybody has read it so no spoilers as always but if you have read it you remember that this is about Macbeth who's a thane of Scotland and he receives a prophecy from these three witches who tell him that he's going to become king of Scotland and he becomes obsessed with this new ambition and it's very much encouraged by his wife Lady Macbeth and eventually it slowly starts driving him into madness. Now I'm just going to put this out there. If you're not familiar with the play and the story in some way shape or form and if you're not comfortable with the language that Shakespeare uses this may be a bit of a struggle for you because this film adaptation doesn't go out of its way to make it more accessible in any way. It assumes that you know what this is and you know what's going on and a lot of the dialogue is straight out of the play. Some of the stuff has been cut, some of the stuff has been a little bit rearranged, but it's Shakespeare dialogue the entire time. So if that's something that is terrifying to you, I don't know if Macbeth is going to change your mind. This isn't to say that it's the film's job in general to make it more accessible, but I do think it's something you need to be aware of. And if you're not familiar with the original at all, I would definitely familiarize yourself with what's going on before going into this movie because between the language that they're using and the accents you may get a little bit lost in some scenes because they can be a little bit tough to understand. With all of that out of the way I have to say that this movie is the most beautiful looking movie I have seen not just this year but in a while in general I am in love with the look of this movie. I think the colors that they use are absolutely stunning. The shots themselves are just beautiful. The way that the movie uses slow motion is really really cool. I think the entire film is absolutely gorgeous and I swear you could pause this at any point and it would look like art. It is fantastic. It also has a really fitting ominous soundtrack which is something that I actually noticed. I don't always notice the soundtrack when it's just kind of your generic movie music type of thing but this soundtrack was so perfect for the movie. The performances are great as well. Of course we have Michael Fassbender as Macbeth and he is great particularly when it comes to descending into madness. It is just kind of uncomfortable to watch at points because he starts losing it and a lot of times it's in front of other people and you're just watching it thinking oh this is so awkward right now but you are doing it so well so he is great I think Marion Cotillard definitely steals the scene because she is wonderful and I have to say that's one of the new things that this movie brings to the table as far as adaptations of Macbeth go is that Lady Macbeth is kind of a softer version of herself in this movie. It can almost feel as if she's not as ambitious as Macbeth, but she definitely is. She just does it in a more subtle way and she definitely works hard to influence his decisions and kind of put him on the right track with what he's doing or what she thinks is the right track. And 
Marion Cotillard plays this perfectly. She has some beautiful scenes. The only thing that is keeping me from giving this movie five out of five stars is the pacing and it's kind of a big deal because you're already dealing with this really rich and complicated language and with all of that and people kind of having to get used to hearing it, you also have spots where everything just comes to a halt. And this isn't to say that the actors aren't fascinating to watch, but at the same time they did pick and choose which parts of the play to include and I feel like it's a little bit uneven because there are some action-packed moments in there and I don't mean like action explosions type of thing obviously this isn't necessary in every movie you know what i'm talking about though the flow of how things unfold and how important they feel and the ups and downs and there definitely are parts of this movie that are just really really slow that didn't necessarily have to be especially when you are picking and choosing what to include as far as the dialogue for me this is a solid four out of five film i definitely really really enjoyed it and i would love to see it again and in general it's just gorgeous to look at but these pacing issues can sometimes disconnect you from what's going on and then it almost feels as if the visuals are overwhelming the story which is just not something that you want to happen in a Shakespeare adaptation. However, the film definitely succeeds for the most part in what it was trying to accomplish and people who enjoy Shakespeare should definitely check this movie out because it is a really good adaptation and it has the right balance of being faithful to the material but also bringing some new things to it that don't mess with the overall structure or anything. So definitely definitely check out Macbeth if it's anywhere around you and you have interest in it and that's it for my review of this movie I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have seen it already and also let me know if you have a favorite film adaptation of Macbeth there are a few out there and I'm really curious if you guys have any favorites let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching as always if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would really appreciate that i hope you're having an awesome day and i will see you soon in my next video bye